Hi, this is Lauren, and I'm going to show you how to cash out on the prepped square register. So the first thing you're gonna do is log in, and then you're gonna go down to the fifth icon that has this graph looking thing. Click on that, and then you're gonna click on current drawer. Once you're on current drawer, you'll be able to see all of the transactions or all of the cash sales for the day. So we have the cash that we should have started with this morning, how many sales we did in cash, if we did any refunds, if we did any paid in, paid out. I will do another video on paid in, paid out, so you know what that is, and then our expected in drawer. So right now in our drawer, we should have $326.29. So I am going to go to my cash drawer report and I'm gonna write the cash sales so the cash sales were 103.79 and then our expected in drawer was 326.29. So I'm gonna write that right here, 629. I'm also gonna put my name up here so we know who did it and it is February 28th. Okay, our next step is to just count the cash in the drawer. So I'm gonna count and I should have 326.29. So this is when you would go ahead and count the cash in the drawer. I have already counted this and I have $326.29 in here right now. So when I counted these out, I I guess you can see my, my math over here. So here's when I did it before. I put in, I did it a couple different ways. So I had $100 bill, so that was $100. I had $140 worth of 20s. I had $10 worth of 10s, $40 worth of fives, and $19 worth of ones. When I got to my coins, I found it easier to do tally marks for each dollar, so I just did that, um, and then added it up at the end. You're welcome to do tally marks or dollar amounts, whatever works best for you. Just make sure that it is accurate. So you will fill those in there and then you should get your amount. So the actual amount would be what you would put here. So I actually have $326.29. Okay, now that I've determined that we have this amount, I am going to take out 103.79, my cash sales. So I'm gonna come to my drawer, I'm gonna take out $103. One, two, three, and 79 cents. Okay, so I've now taken out 103.79. Now on my calculator, I made sure that 103.79, well, 326 minus 103.79 was 222.50, and it was. If it was not, we're gonna have to make a note of it. I'll show you how to do that in just a second. But for right now, we're gonna do a paid out. So our amount, you can look on here again if you forgot, 103.79. You can click this button to make this go away. And then description, we're going to say cash sales. It's two. 28 and my name is Lauren Perrette. Oh, I can spell my name. Bear with me. Lauren Perrette. Okay, and we're going to take this out because we're taking it out of the cash drawer to put into the deposit. So I'm going to click paid out, confirm. Oh, wait, confirm paid out. Okay. Now it says that I have completed a cash sale. I guess it says my name, so you don't need to write your name. Never mind on that. <laughs> so it says that now we can go back and it will show us that we have paid a paid out for 103.79 and we should end with 222.50. This is how much we want in the drawer at the beginning and end of each day. So now that we're at 222.50, we're gonna come back here and we'll write ended, I'll have this on your sheet, 222.50, 
I'll sign my name. These will be in slips. You'll just take this and wrap it around the cash and put it into the deposit. Now, all you need to do is click end drawer. Make sure that this is accurate for what you're wanting it to say. You're gonna click actual in drawer. So this is what you actually have. So if you don't actually have 222.50, let's say you were $2 short, you would write in 220.50 and it will show us that we were $2 short. If you end up being short, you need to slack Lauren and Bree and let them both know that the drawer was short by this much. It will also send me a personal email but that way I know which date this was happening on and if I need to get any extra cash or anything like that. But for right now, I had 222.50, which is exactly what it should have been. The difference is zero, should be the same. And then I'm going to click end drawer, confirm. And that's all friends.